Whew, it's too hot. Hello, and if you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Neil, and I'm a real life architect in the UK. Now, I normally focus my channel on the legal, technical, regulatory, and financial aspects of altering private homes in the UK, which is what I do most of the time during my day job. But uh, today, it's 29 degrees outside, and it is 28.8 in my office, which is ridiculously hot. It is Wednesday the 10th of August 2022 and the UK is going through another heat wave and a lot of people are talking about the impacts of climate change and people are now starting to talk about whether homes in the UK should have air conditioning installed. I think that would be a backward step and I'm wondering are there alternatives? So my home office is just a single car garage it has a flat roof and I think that's the source of the problem. So I'm wondering as a proof of concept if I put mylar insulation on the roof will it have any effect it's too late to do it today but tomorrow it's going to be more or less the same as today it's also going to be very hot high 20s so at three in the afternoon i'm going to see what effect this stuff has if i put it on the roof at the beginning of the day will my office warm up to the same frankly awful temperature it's it's too hot it's just too damn hot let's go outside so if we're going to do this quasi-scientifically, I'm going to calibrate my thermometer here. So I've got this is telling me it's 30.4. The other thermometer is 28. We're not that far adrift. So let's go see what temperature it is outside. So this is the outside of my home office. It's just a single car garage and has a flat roof, which is black bituminous felt. And I think that's the source of the problem. That stuff's getting roasting hot and it is insulated but obviously it's underneath the bituminous felt. So I'm wondering what would happen if I fit insulation on top, something like that mylar, which will reflect the heat and we'll see what that does. So let's take a temperature check right here. So the outside wall is reading 42, which is probably closer to 38, 39. So that's pretty hot in itself. Let's see what the bituminous felt of the roof is like. I had hoped that the walls wouldn't be quite as warm given that they're pale color. So tomorrow morning, before the sun really gets going, I'm gonna put this stuff up on the flat roof. Let's take a temperature check. 55, it's you know, probably about 51, 52 when I check it against my other thermometer, but it's still really hot. That is, oh. Yeah, that's, you couldn't walk on that barefoot, it's too much. So I think that's part of the problem. That is radiating heat down into my office. So I'm gonna fit this roll of Mylar bubble wrap. You can see it is Mylar both sides with a layer of bubbles in the middle. On top of this, not as a permanent thing, this is just gonna be, this is just gonna be a proof of concept to see what can we do to buildings in the UK that will prevent them from getting hot in the first place rather than trying to cool them down afterwards with air conditioning. See you tomorrow morning. So it's 8.30 a.m. on Thursday 11th of August 2022 and you can see it's a blue sky and it's going to be another scorcher today just like yesterday. So I'm going to lay sheets of this reflective insulation on the flat roof of my office to see if it will prevent it from getting hot in the first place. So that's the job done and you can see behind me there's a small section of the roof which isn't covered with the foil. The reason is that the front meter point two of the garage is not my office. We use it for storing the bikes, the lawnmower and an additional freezer for our house. So I don't really care if that gets too hot. Okay so that's the roof covered in reflective foil and, and just as a benchmark it is now three minutes past nine in the morning and you can see the temperatures 19.7 so it's climbing let's see if this stuff actually does anything so it's now about midday and it is really quite hot up here the the roof itself 51 degrees but if we check under the insulation in here 
birthday. So a 20 degree reduction in temperature just by putting this foil on top. Things are still hotting up in the office and I've decided to put this blue awning that I have uh, outside the front door to give some shade to the wall because I think that's now getting ridiculously hot too. Okay, so it's about 3 p.m. on uh, Thursday 11th of August 2022 and the temperature is now 25.8 inside the office and that's after having fitted um, that reflective foil and a shade canopy over the south facing wall of my office. So that's three degrees cooler now than it was at exactly the same time yesterday. Now that doesn't sound like much, but it's the difference between being uncomfortable and intolerable. Now you might think, well, that's great as an experiment. We can't all go around wrapping our homes in tinfoil, can we? No, we can't. But I did some research into this and it turns out that installing what are known as radiant heat barriers is actually a done thing in other parts of the world. I found several videos from Texas, of all places, where this is installed as part of building new houses where foil-backed OSB sheeting boards are put on the roof with the foil facing the inside surface. Or you can retrofit an existing roof by sheeting the inside with a reflective mylar film. And this makes a significant reduction in the amount of money they have to spend on air conditioning their homes because you know temperatures can regularly get above 40 Celsius outdoors in that part of the world. But this is something that's unknown in the UK. It is probably possible to retrofit quite a few of our houses with foil on the inside of the rafters so that the attic doesn't start to roast and then roast the house below it and lead people to start buying air conditioning units. I'm going to look into what's known as passive cooling as the next step. I'm going to do another video on this and that's the idea of where you get something that's dense and heavy and quite cold and you use that to cool the place down and there's numerous ways of doing this. There's numerous technologies on, on the marketplace that allow this to happen. So I'm going to see if I can rig something up because tomorrow is going to be just as hot again as it was today and yesterday. But I'm fairly happy with how this has turned out. It's proof of concept that we can do things in our buildings that will help reduce the heat load that is being transmitted inside and making us all so uncomfortable. So stay tuned. I'll make that video next.